Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Atler Omega. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I upgraded my surround system to add Wi-Fi volume control and stereo to 5.1 Dolby digital surround conversion. If you are tired of struggling with fixed volume levels and limited input options, this tutorial is for you. So let's get started. Before we dive into the upgrade process, let us quickly discuss the issue with my current surround system. Firstly, it lacks a volume control feature which means I have to rely on the source device volume control which may not be possible sometimes like this. You see that the volume was not getting adjusted even if I press the volume controls on the Amazon TV remote. This is because I have connected the optical output of the television to the surround system. Also there is no volume control on this system. Also it has some motherboard issues so I need to replace the entire motherboard of this system. Secondly, the system only has 6 channel input option like from a 5.1 DVD player which limits me in connecting normal 3.5 mm stereo output devices like old television or smartphone or even a stereo Bluetooth adapter. But to convert stereo to 5.1, we need a stereo to Dolby Digital 5.1 surround converter. So this converter board has multiple inputs and 5.1 output on the other side. You can find the purchase link in the description below. This is what you need to purchase uh, to make this project. The main component is the stereo to 5.1 converter. And one of the major uh, components is the P3 2258 6 channel volume controller IC. This has an I2C interface which can be uh, connected to an Arduino board to communicate and set the volume or mute any of the individual channels. Amplifier boards, which I selected here, is 30 watts. Um, two channel stereo amplifier boards, a subwoofer amplifier with the um, left and right channels but here we can use only one channel for the center speaker. If you have any additional speakers you can provide that also. Next is the Adeno board. Here in this case we have selected the Wi-Fi module uh, ESP8266. This helps us to connect to the smartphone and control the volume from the smartphone. Finally, we need the power adapter, I would operated components like the digital volume controller IC P225258 and also the decoder. Both of them works on 5V. And the amplifiers works on 12V, so we need a 12V adapter also. So I will provide all these links in the description below. Let's move on to the connection details. First I have connected all the 5.1 outputs of the 5.1 decoder to digital volume control board. So you can see on the back side for each channel I have taken the connection and one common ground. These are the speaker output uh, jack. 
where uh, all the 5.1 outputs are connected from the amplifier. Here the subwoofer pin will not be connected. Uh, that will be directly connected from the amplifier board and we are keeping all these ports inside the cabinet and the subwoofer connector is also inside. Let us open up and remove the existing board. Carefully remove the back plate and you can see the board amplifier board and uh, the connectors inside so carefully remove all the connectors okay so this is the board you can see uh, a transformer which is having a high current capacity around 6 ampere for 5 volt and 3 ampere for 12 volt we could use this but i tried this and uh, there was some humming noise picking up so i had to remove the entire board and transform out so this is the subwoofer connector which i mentioned that it is inside the cabinet so this we can directly connect it to the amplifier board when we are keeping inside that is a subwoofer okay so this is the whole setup uh, it's uh, looking a little messy because i haven't uh, done it on a proper pcb uh, so but it doesn't matter right now, we can just try it out. So we have the 5 volt adapter, 12 volt adapter, and uh, we can see the amplifier boards, we can see the Wi Fi model. So I have taken the connectors through one of the hole which was provided for the subwoofer earlier. So, and I will see later. This is stereo pin, and this is the SPDF optical cable. Now let us uh, glue all the parts uh, so that the connections will not be disconnected during the operation. Let us keep all the boots inside the cabinet and let us seal it. Okay, it's almost done. Let us close the cabinet and see a demonstration. Since the video is too long, I will cover uh, the Blink based application development and how to connect to this one in the next video. Left channel. Center channel. Right channel. Right surround channel. Left surround channel. Center. Right. 
right surround. Left surround.